Hey there, everybody. Happy Monday, Moon Day to you all. I hope you're having a good start to a fantastic week. Hey, we have something to look forward to because Wednesday is the last day of retrograde. I'm very happy about that. Um, but just remember, we still have that kind of week of wonky in-betweenness between uh retrograde proper which is uh wednesday the 20th and then seven days after that so you know wonky stuff still could take place this is not anything wonky this is awesomeness i went by my library today and they have the coolest magazines now magazines and i go a long way back um when i was a little girl my dad shop was across the street from a paper company where the paper company would take scrap paper, you know, and it would go in this machine and it would get chopped up. And then I don't know what they did with it after that. I don't know if they recycled it or whatever. This was a very long time ago. This was, you know, when I was like, I don't know, 10 years old. So a really long time ago. But the cool thing about going to work with Daddy was that we could go to Chesapeake Paper Stock and we could get magazines. Now, the magazines that we would get would have the cover torn off, but they were full magazines. And that is where I really got into uh, comics, you know, because uh, there were comic books there, there were magazines there, there were newspapers there, there were old there were books you know that people couldn't sell so they would just rip the front cover off and then they could sell they could ship that book to a recycling place so anyway magazines and i just go way way back um i just kind of on a whim went by my library today i've been using the libby app on my phone so i haven't been going to the library very often but we do at our library have a friends of the library bookshelf and they have uh you know hardback adult books for a couple bucks and then magazines are a quarter and I just wanted to show you kind of this is like a haul video <laughs> this is my kind of haul video so i got coastal living which i am really excited about look at all those beautiful images beautiful pictures beautiful scenes you know, just incredible um, inspiration, right? I mean, really, when I do flow journals, and I had somebody tell me this not long ago, she said, I keep that flow journal on my desk because it is my inspiration. And I love that idea. I love the way that we, you know, we can create color palettes or we can uh, use words as journaling prompts. Even numbers can be used as journaling prompts. Anything in that flow journal can really be used to tap into your writing, your creativity, your inspiration. I got Living by Martha Stewart. I was going to look and see how old these are. This is November 2017. I'm not sure quite how long they keep their magazines. I am reminded that they will keep magazines for you, you know, as they go to the recycling. But I really, I like buying them off the shelf because it it helps the library. It helps the friends of the library. And they do seminars and book talks and they ha host um, things for children and that kind of thing. So it's kind of my way of helping out my local library, which I really, really love. This is real simple. I always have loved this magazine. The pages in it have a different sort. Look at that. Uh, the pages in it have like a different, it's not shiny. You know, it's kind of a matte finish. I just think it's really, really pretty. So I'm very anxious to go through this one and kind of, uh, when I process magazines like this, I do go through and read um, and clip articles, especially for mom, for mama. And um, I, you know, I enjoy the magazines and not just the cutting up, but I really, really enjoy the, <laughs> the cutting up and the harvesting of the magazines. Garden and Gun has to be one of my favorite publications. It is, of course, Southern based and it just has great recipes, great articles. This says Secrets of the, do of the Bird Dog Wizard, uh, A Weekend at Barbecue Camp, 
things that are just so uniquely southern it says soul of the south right here this is the june july 2018 issue there are always really cool publications in your town that you can pick up now i picked up three today this one was at the library so this one was a quarter um, but I loved it because it was about the James River, and I know that I can find some really sweet imagery. Look at that. I mean, that's just totally beautiful right there. Um, I also picked up Richmond Family Magazine. This is a fantastic publication. Um, my pal Margaret is the editor. It always has really, really good articles in it this one is a, it's got something called oddities of virginia a family tour so i'm i'm really anxious to read this article and then of course we will go through and harvest this magazine i also picked up a copy of boomer magazine uh, favorite richmond writers close to home it's now or never which is a tribute to elvis's 85th birthday can you believe it but i just thought it was very very pretty and it is it's a publication that deals with the museums that we have here which one of these days you know i've lived here 15 years and I've been to the Poe Museum, and I've been to the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts, and that's it. I am wildly excited about this book. Um, this is one that I bought from the library. It is Seashells of the World. It was $2. Oh, look at it. I was going to see if I could, like, ditch one of these lights so we could, yeah, there we go. Oh. <gasps> Isn't that amazing? And then it gives, you know, it's got seashells, it's got maps, talks about collecting seashells, the classifications of seashells. I am so excited about this book. I cannot wait to whack this one up, y'all, and share it with you. Is that not just the neatest thing ever? All right, guys, uh, this just a little mini magazine haul that I thought that you would like to see what you're going to be getting in some flow journals. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. Happy Moon Day. Talk to you soon. Bye.